up everybody sean here with the sierra life where we're all about getting outside and finding your adventure now today we're going to be building a new outdoor shower for our newest addition to our adventure life the geo pro g15 tb now this uh, this unit here comes equipped with an outdoor shower but really there's no privacy it's just we open this up here and it's just a hot and cold valve with a with a handle and a shower. And after a long day of adventuring, hiking, backpacking, canyoneering, you just want to rinse off. You want to get clean, but you want to do it in some privacy. So we're going to be building one today out of some very easy, lightweight equipment that collapses down into a small footprint easy to store in this bad boy so let's go ahead and get into it now in order to accomplish building this outdoor shower there's a couple pieces of materials and as some very simple uh, pretty easy to use tools that you're going to need to be able to uh, have on hand uh, to do this uh, one of the first ones being at some point uh, you know we're going to need to attach to the outside of this GeoPro G15 TB. So we're gonna be using these suction cup handles uh, to uh, attach these and put these uh, on there. Now you're also gonna need some basic uh, kind of everyday use PVC. Now, I chose to go with half inch PVC uh, because we really don't need it to be too big and bulky. Uh, and I'm really trying to pay attention to how small everything is once we're done and it's all cut down, uh, you know, kind of collapsed down and, in, and ready to go for storage. You're also gonna need a couple different uh, adapters or kind of uh, little pieces of, of PVC. In this case, we need two right hand 90 degree elbows. So two right hand 90 degree elbows, uh, as well as you're gonna need two of these kind of Y-shaped uh, corner um, adapters here. Now I happen to go with the uh, kind that have a threaded end. Uh, two ends are just your traditional more, uh, you know, open, slide it over like you would normally see with PVC. Uh, but I chose to go with this one with a threaded end on it. And you'll see why when we start to put it together, why I chose to do that. But you're gonna need two of those uh, on it. And then you're also gonna need two half inch fe uh, females to threaded males, so a half inch female uh, to threaded males. I'm gonna link all of the different pieces uh, in the notes of this video so you guys can go down there and get the entire material list. So that's what you're gonna need as far as materials go. Obviously, you're gonna also need a shower curtain of choice. Now, as far as tools, really simple and pretty easy. You're gonna need a tape measure so that you can measure and decide you know, your, your lengths and measure and mark. Uh, with that, I'd highly recommend having a uh, sharpie or some sort of a uh, marker on hand to be able to mark and label some things uh, you're gonna need just your basic hand PVC uh, cutters these things do phenomenal for cutting half inch three-quarter inch uh, very easy to cut right through it and then if you go this route of going with the half inch female to the male threaded end, you're gonna want a little bit of PVC glue and you'll see why I want to glue those on and not just leave them stuck on the ends. Uh, we're gonna be using a very tiny, tiny amount of it. So if you have some laying around, uh, that's, you know, be plenty uh, to use. So really that is all that's required to uh, make this. I think total in uh, materials, we've got about uh, $25, maybe $28, depending on obviously your shower curtain is gonna draw, uh, you know, a, a a cost on that. You spend a little bit more in your shower curtain, it's gonna be higher than that. But overall, what you see right here, we've got about $28 uh, in material cost and tools. And you know, as far as the glue, I had that laying around. So there's nothing really uh, cost wise there. All right, so one of the first things that you're gonna to wanna to do is decide which size shower kind of enclosure you wanna make. In our case, we went with just a standard shower curtain here. Uh, so when I did the math on it, it's basically, we're just gonna do a two foot by two foot uh, square. So we've got raw material here in the case that we've got five foot uh, pieces of half inch PVC. So I'm gonna have to cut four of these uh, at two feet a piece. Now the other one that I have sitting here is for coming up out of the suction cup uh, area. 
And with them being suction cupped, we're able to use them kind of where we see fit and just kind of move them around. However, one thing you got to pay attention to on the side of your unit, on the side of your coach, is what other obstructions uh, do you have? Our shower is right here, but this panel that you see right here is actually the back of the refrigerator. It's the access panel into the back of the refrigerator. So I can only get my suction cups up so high uh, to before it would hit into this and we don't want to be way out here or way up here with it so i decided that based on where we're able to kind of play in this range right here that about a two and a half foot high extension pole that then the two by two square would connect itself around uh, giving us a pretty decent range to be able to move the suction cup aspects up and down get the height that we want based on wherever we're at how much privacy we're ultimately trying uh, to create for ourselves. So let's go ahead and start cutting these down into their individual pieces so that we're able to start to do a rough assembly. All right, when it comes to putting together the main square section that your shower curtain's gonna hang from, uh, I went ahead and we cut down four of our half inch pieces of PVC. So these four pieces right here are actually uh, cut down to two feet uh, each. So each one of these are gonna become a side and that's where you're gonna use your two 90 degree elbows that we have sitting right here, uh, as well as your two corner uh, L shape. So we're just going to take one of our pieces uh, of PVC. We're going to go ahead and slide it right in to our 90 degree elbow. And we're going to go ahead and attach another piece on this end over here. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my other 90 degree elbow now, and I'm going to attach it to this end over here. We're going to go ahead and put our third piece of PVC on over here. And at this point, I've kind of made a uh, three-sided square uh, with everything going on. Uh, so what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna attach our back piece. And this is where these corner L shapes are gonna come into uh, play uh, because this is where the down tube or the vertical tube coming up off the suction cups uh, that are gonna be coming up off of our coach uh, to raise this up into the air. They're gonna be threading in here. So we're just gonna put one of those in here like this. We can then attach our other back piece right here. Uh, and then we'll take our final L-shaped one. Again, keeping that threaded side going up. Pretty self-explanatory. The, the pipe's not gonna slide right into the thread side anyway. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and attach that on here. We'll go ahead and pop that one in over here. Do a quick tighten up on them and voila just like that we've got ourselves the top square that eventually will be going up in the air as such uh, that our shower curtain will be hanging on to one thing i do want to do because we have multiple pieces and each piece uh, is a, it's kind of the same size but just a hair off and it'd be very easy to slip up and put a couple of the two and a halfers in up here and then those twos and then all of a sudden things are off and you're, you're getting frustrated so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark everything that goes on this portion uh, as an a and then the other ones as a b just so that we know uh, real quick and this way no matter who's putting it together whether it's myself whether it's deanna whoever uh, is putting it together they're able to put it together pretty uh, quickly so I'm just gonna mark a, a quick little a uh, to each one of these so that we know that these are a pieces uh, that they go together now you some would think the the lines would give you that uh, on it again sometimes thank the Marine Corps for that one uh, I like to make things what I call Barney proof uh, if anybody has ever watched that show Barney back in the day, uh, you know what I'm talking about. We want to make it like color by numbers uh, in a sense. Again, we're out there for adventure. We're out there for fun. We're not out there to get frustrated or irritated or have uh, certain things kind of giving us a little bit of a pain uh, to do. So I'm just going to put a quick A on all of those. 
I'll sit that over here off to the side. Uh, I'm gonna mark these as B pieces. I'm gonna mark it up here towards the top where I'm gonna glue those other parts on. Okay, and that's it. Now, what I am gonna do is, as I said before, I do wanna glue these little adapters right here on to this so that when they're on, even though they're nice and tight, they're gonna probably spin. At some point that might get too tight and then that's gonna wanna spin inside. So I'm gonna put just a very little bit of uh, glue inside there. I don't wanna see it too sloppy. Uh, so we're just gonna kinda put just enough that we know this thing is gonna kinda bind its way up. So I'm just putting a little bit of that glue in there. That stuff's gonna get nice rock solid uh, once it dries. And we'll go there with that one. Do the same over here on this side. And again, doesn't have to be pretty. You know, it is an outdoor adventure vehicle. Uh, we are out there, it's not about, it is just PVC piping, but uh, personally, I just didn't want to see all the blue dripping down. Okay, so at this point, we've got all of our pieces and it's really just a matter of time now. We'll put the suction cups on. We'll make these go to where we want them to go. And then we're going to uh, attach everything, put it all up. We'll get the shower curtain on and we'll be ready to take a shower in privacy on our outdoor shower. All right, now that we have everything completely uh, put together and kind of fit right where we want it at and kind of ready to kind of assemble uh, the, the final aspect of it. So you see here, I've already got one of the uh, suction cup handles on it. Now, the one design that I did see out there that I kind of got the inspiration on how I wanted to make this for us, they did just use one of these and they had a single pole coming up off of it. Uh, but my personal preference on that was it was gonna be pretty flimsy. It was gonna kind of want to bounce around a lot uh, as you're trying to move the, the shower curtain around. Uh, that's why I decided to go with two of these suction cup handles. This way we had two poles and I just felt like it was going to give it a little more uh, steadiness or security for that shower curtain to be up uh, and it not just be bouncing all over the place when you know you're trying to get in there and and shower. Now you can get these little suction cup handles like this at pretty much any, uh, you know, major hardware store, Harbor Freight, these type of things. Uh, I picked these ones up on Amazon as well uh, to, to do it. It was actually a two pack of these, uh, but they're super simple uh, to, to put on. So we're just going to come over and I kind of know where I've already mapped it out on our uh, coach here on the, on the Geo Pro 15 TB, where exactly I want it at. And I know that I'm going to kind of line up with this bolt right over here, this uh, kind of security pin for this access panel for the fridge. And I know that I wanna keep the, the suction cups right here on this orange line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and come over here. I'm gonna stick this next one on right about, say there. And all you do is you just take these levers and you just push the levers down and it's on there pretty secure. I mean, it would take a lot of my might uh, to pull that off. Now, from there, what we need to do is attach our long down tubes, right, our, our vertical tubes, to our actual frame uh, that we built. So to do that, that's why I made it easy to just kind of thread in. We're just going to simply uh, screw that in a little bit. Now, you don't got to make these super tight because, well, it's not permanent. It's not staying like this. You're going to want to be able to get these back off. So just snug them down hand tight on each side. And that's also why I glued this part right here uh, so that when we're, we're twisting this around, this pipe doesn't wanna just twist inside of uh, that fitting. Now you could have threaded this on onto here, just left it. Uh, sometimes you can find these uh, kind of corner uh, connectors here like this without the threaded side. My particular Lowe's didn't have any of those in stock the other day uh, when I was picking stuff up and I actually kind of like this idea a little bit better. Uh, so that's why I kind of went this route. But there's a number of ways that you could do this. You could get the kind that just kind of pop in. This would just boom, pop right in, not thread in. Personally though, I like things to be a little more secure. Sometimes, I, like I said, I overdo uh, some things, but uh, I just kind of 
kind of feel safer that way or kind of know that things aren't going to fall apart uh, on us as often. So from there, we're just going to pop that right in and voila, there we go. We've got that up now. Let's go ahead and throw the shower curtain up and take a look at it completely finished. All right, so we've got the shower curtain here and I went ahead and just threw in all the little plastic uh, shower curtain hangers. Uh, these are actually the ones that came with this particular shower curtain and we'll use them for now because they're, they're lightweight, they're, they're easy. Uh, you could change these out for, uh, you know, more of a metal. You don't necessarily need to go super fancy because again, it is just an outdoor uh, shower that we're working with here. But um, We'll see how long these last. They're lightweight, they're easy to, you know, kind of replace or, or whatever. But uh, we're just gonna take them now and just gonna go around and pop in the, over top of our half inch PVC. All right, so there you have it. We've now got ourselves a completed outdoor shower as you guys can see we went with a more of an outdoorsy theme kind of fits who we are and what we like to take our geo pro uh, to go and do get outside adventure explore some canyons we love beautiful waterfalls uh, so went with a, a shower curtain that has a beautiful waterfall on it uh, and as you can tell you know nice and easy we can move this thing around depending on if you needed privacy all the way around you just need it on one side or whatever you just simply we can slide these things around uh, and it does it gives you a nice set of privacy to at least rinse off uh, and feel like hey nobody's nobody's taking a look at you and now we're able to use the outdoor shower and it pulls off pretty uh, seamless take it off collapse it be able to pack it back up now if you guys found this tutorial helpful uh, if it's something that you think that maybe you would want to build for your rv or your uh, travel trailer out there do me a favor hit the like button hit the subscribe button on this channel if you enjoy watching and seeing little tips and tricks like this and more importantly let me know down in the comments maybe what you would do a little bit different or how you would use this uh, in an application for what it is that you like to do. Until next time, my name's Sean with the Sierra Life reminding you to get outside and find your adventure. See you guys next time.